underrated superstar in college football. And he has weapons everywhere. And he'll put it up on first down. Spinning out for a first down is Adam Humphrey. So a gain of 13 in his career. He's chasing Phillip Rivers for some of the greatest records in ACC history. Boyd wants the home run for Martavis Bryant. That's broken up. Underthrown a bit. Just fumbled the last snap, but was able to jump on top of his own miscue. And here he finds Sammy Watkins. So it was nearly one play ago. Kesnick is down on the field, and the ACC on ESPN already off to a quick start. Lightning fast pace of this Clemson offense. Adam Humphreys already with his second catch. And exact opposite. And another audience now joining us, as if you're watching on ESPN2, seeing a second third down on this opening possession. And a little trickeration at Boston College didn't fall for it. The direct snap to Roderick McDowell to seem at a bow. They'll go for it on fourth down and a half yard. Straight handoff to Roderick McDowell. Can he move the pile enough to get the first down? And he does. Second effort, and it looked like Boston put hard running by Brooks, picks up the first down. Bulleting one over the middle is Taj Boyd, and the catch made inside the 10-yard line. He already has 107 career touchdown passes. Now it's Zach Brooks to the seven, where it will be second down and goal. It's in history, and that would move him up towards the top all-time ACC-wise as well. And he loses the football. The second fumble on this opening drive for Taj. That's two fumbles. Third down and goal. Boyd in some trouble. Back of the end zone incomplete. So Boston College this weekend. More than 25 hot air balloons taking the South Carolina skies. And that's what Taj Boyd will do here. As he checks down to Adam Humphreys. Boyd to cover them, but he, he hasn't been quite right with the football. Play action, second and seven, Boyd. Dodging tacklers, finds Watkins in the flat. And he did well to pick up a few yards as we go down to Quint Kesnick. I think he took that tape off after that first series when he couldn't handle the ball. And the glove as well. Third down and four. Austin College shows blitz. And let's see what Taj Boyd does to adjust. He brings in an extra protector. And Sam Cooper, the tight end. Here comes the blitz. Boyd down the sideline. Look for the back shoulder throw to Martavis Bryant. A hold, but the ball was in the air, so it's pass interference. McDowell caught behind the line. They gave McDowell forward progress back to the line. Still second down at 10. Austin College brings a five-man rush. McDowell wide open in the right flat. Nice open field tackle, though. Just and they continue to do that. A quick seam hitter as Taj Boyd. He's able to sneak one. All anyone seems to be talking about is the matchup with Florida State next Saturday. Zach Brooks. A gain of one. Well, didn't you tell me even the ACC can, to me, perfect meeting room fodder for a Saturday night for BC. Taj Boyd, this time, keeps it on the belly option and picks up another yard, maybe a yard and a half. Given Pierre Lewis. And Taj Boyd, and he was absolutely certain that they would play well today. Four-man rush. Boyd sets up the screen. Zach Brooks blockers out in front. That's a first down. Well done. Lost the football. Did Boston count? Wide receiver screen. Adam Humphreys runs a man over at the 15-yard line and fights his way out. Beasley on defense. He leads the nation in sacks. Running play and a little cutback lane. There goes Roderick McDowell. Close to the 30-yard line before he's turned back, but that's... And they had become one-dimensional. So that about doubled their output. Blitz off the edge for BC. Down the sideline goes Tosh Boyd. He's got Martavis Bryant. First down of the Boston College 40-yard line. Got a guy short and a guy long around Bryant. And he waited 
and anticipated when Bryant would clear the first defender before he cleared him. Clemson right back to work. They find Humphreys again. And in this offense, that's about a seven. To West Virginia, changed to Tennessee, but then Phil Fulmer was replaced by Lane Kiffin. So Dabo Sweeney got in there and ended up getting Taj Boyd. And Boyd to the end zone here. That's incomplete. Had set up, and they did. Third down and ten after a big missed opportunity. Taj Boyd, pressure in his face. Running out of room, high to the sideline, incomplete, and B.C. And he says, we, we haven't been that way in a couple years. Well, they'll have to overcome some of that Clemsoning early in this ballgame. Taj Boyd, under some pressure, avoids a sack with a flag down. He finds some room to run. Taj Boyd breaks a tackle. This might all be coming between those quote-unquote Clemsoning-type losses, but they're scaring their fans today, first and long. Down the sideline, Adam Humphreys makes the game. That was an intentional over the head. A fumble again by Clemson. They hand it back as Roderick McDowell loses. So one big play for Clemson gets them in plus territory. Wide receiver screen. Sammy Watkins picks up five. Play action for Boyd. Again, he's got Watkins wide open. Sammy Watkins, though, caught just shy of the first down marker by Stephen Dale. Wanna arrest and never got going. This year, he's ahead of the pace he set his freshman year. He came back really like a man on a mission and has played extremely well. Here's McDowell on first down. Thrown down behind the line, Kasim Edabali. Sprint draw up the middle. McDowell. Inside the 35 to the 34 yard line for a gain of four. And that is. Here comes the blitz on third down. Taj Boyd over the middle. And it's knocked away. Manuel a sprint. Out. Top quarterbacks and Heisman. Manziel is certainly on the list, as is Taj Boyd, in my view. Taj Boyd with plenty of time. Throws it behind his intended receiver. Stand Four-man rush, Boyd flips it, and this time, second. This offense moves very quickly when they want to. They've got plenty of time. And there is the first down catch made by Sammy Watkins. Clemson hurries up, reserving their timeout. And Boyd will run. He's got a first down. So that will stop it. Taj Boyd up the scene, he's got Martavis Bryant. Another Clemson first down to the BC. 20 of time. 18 just, more yards. Just what you'd expect from a senior quarterback. Boyd, out of the sideline, dropping the football though is Martavis. You probably won't get single coverage. Boyd in traffic, tipped. And on to support Dick Kelly. So all our thoughts and prayers to you, Dick, out there. Great to see the Boston College community come up, stand up, and help uh, Dick Kelly. Third down and ten. Taj Boyd under pressure. Calmly avoids a sack. Dancing in the pocket. How does he make it look so easy? Down inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line, and now they'll have to call timeout. Tiger fans thought they'd see. Taj Boyd with a handoff to D.J. Howard, and he is swapped. And they bring also inside pressure. Flips one, wide open, D.J. Howard. Nice open field. Now it's Zach Brooks in a tailback. Taj Boyd, down the sideline for Bryant. What a catch! Does he stay in bounds? As the smoke is still hovering from the fireworks. After the touchdown over the field, it's second down and long. And now it's third down and long as Sam that Cooper is, and has, and has their own haze as the, well. The premature touchdown celebration, the flag came out. Third down and a long eight. Boston College comes with a blitz. Boyd looking for a touchdown to Watkins. He's got it! Blitz comes off the edge. Watkins drops it behind the blitz. Whoa. Yeah, that touchdown pass really changed things in the stadium. The crowd is nervous. 
Play action for Boyd. This time Watkins makes sure, and he's got a first down. Rest of this ball game after he's, you know, beaten them deep. Hodge Boyd long to the sideline. Adam Humphreys makes the catch. And Clemson with mistakes. But with Boston College showing in the second half, they can make some plays. He's got to be concerned with Boston College beating Clemson. Three-man rush on first and long. High throw, incomplete. Helped out by the penalties and the hole that Clemson's putting themselves in. Draw play to Zach Brooks. And he is hit hard. To the first arm that was up high. Third down and 20. And a volley. Taj Boyd looking for a home run for Humphreys. Incomplete. And Clemson will drive in plus territory. Down by four. A little tight end screen that doesn't get much. Again. From the side, they're bringing a blitz from somewhere. Sammy Watkins to the top of your screen left. Here comes the pressure. And on the slant, Sammy Watkins drops it again. That's his... DC rushes four. Boy, off his back foot. Checks down underneath to McDowell. And he is laid out at the 39-yard line. A young... They may take a shot here. A counter toss to McDowell. He's got the first down. Well executed by the Tigers. It's a first down on against Florida State. One more play before we end the third. E.J. Howard gets to the 32-yard line. And that will take... Struggling with B.C. Taj Boyd, jump ball, and it's pulled in. Second turn makes the catch. Inside. BC jumped in the neutral zone. That might be a free play. DJ Howard to about the seven-yard line. Five inside the ten. And they're showing a corner blitz, and Boyd is checking his play now. And Boston College responding. Drop a handoff to McDowell. He's hit by Stephen Daniels. They load the box. They don't want to let him run the ball in here. They want to force him to throw it. Empty backfield, second and three. Quarterback run for Taj Boyd. Up the middle. Up the goal line. Touchdown, Clemson. So, of trying to slow the tempo, you would think. I don't think they know how to shorten the game. I don't think they're, they will slow the tempo here. Let's see if they keep it at that quick pace. They'll run it on first down with Roderick McDowell. And he picks up eight. All right, Robert, thanks very much. Fourth quarter here in Death Valley. And Rod Gilmore, you were exactly right. That looks to be good enough. And off to McDowell. And he's thrown down behind the line. You can't close it out. And you give the other team the opportunity because you can't shorten the game. They just snapped the ball with 20 on the play clock on second and 11. High throw. But what, 30 seconds? Even having said that, the force and effect, if they get a stop here, would be like a three and out. So little time will come off the clock. And Taj Boyd, he's going to go down. And Boston cut. And now the senior is in control as the play clock is under five, and he's set to go. And McDowell hit and driven back. Maybe picked up. Taj Boyd will throw. Low throw, incomplete. So with four, <laughs> we'll have all the pomp and circumstance that we expected it would. Big run here for Zach Brooks, all the way down to the 22-yard line. Big with a scoop and score by Vic Beasley. That turned the tide. And now we're going to get set for next Saturday night. Yeah. A run here by Zach Brooks. This is have to hurry to get this snap off. They may have been a little too deliberate. They get it off, no problem. Here's Zach Brooks. Down to about the 14-yard line. 